guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to be doing today is I want to make a Ray Dunn dupe for another canister that I have for my kitchen for my fall decor. I think this is going to be so cute. It's totally customizable. And I will see you tomorrow for a decorate with me for fall. So excited. Okay, so I already have design space loaded here. On my computer I'm going to go to the circle with the plus for a new project that will put us on our canvas and I'm going to text over here on the left hand side of the screen I'm going to click on that and I want the skinny it's a lot like a Ray Dunn font to me um, so that's what I'm going to be using okay so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select it if you didn't have it up in the search box up here in the right top corner you would type in the skinny, but this is what I want. So it says right here under font, the skinny. So I'm just gonna type pumpkin and enter and spice, okay? And then I'm gonna bring this over here. Now this is way too small. Let me zoom in, way too small. So what I want to do is go out from size. There's a little lock and for my width, I want to make it 4.0 and for my height I'm going to make it 4.0 just like that and then lock that back and make sure that it holds it now if you look at this it's not um, you could hit alignment and hit center but to me that is still definitely off so what I want to do is I'm going to click on it I want to go over in the layers column up here and hit ungroup and I'm just going to group spice by itself and then I can move it to where I think it's centered and to me that looks a lot better now I also think I might want to scoot these over just a little bit I think I'm just going to look let's see so I'm going to ungroup pumpkin and let's see if we can move these over just a little bit more So they're really, and try, I have them on that grid, so try to keep them in the straight. Okay, to me that looks better. Then I'm going to draw a box back around the pumpkin and hit group, okay? Then I'm going to do the same thing for spice. I'm going to ungroup it. Then I'm just going to sco scoot these over just a little bit. You really wouldn't have to. I mean, it was pretty good like it was, but I think that looks more like Ray Dunn. Then I'm going to draw a box and hit group, okay? Now you may need to move this over just a little bit since we've changed it a little bit. I think that looks good, okay? So let me make sure. Okay, I like that. So then we're going to draw a box around this. Now you'll see, I have to go back up here where we moved it. It's not quite the same. So I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to do 4.0 again. And you could scoot everything together first, 4.0 for the height. Okay, I like that, all right? So we're going to go to make it right top corner. But if you'll see here on our mat, it's still not right. This is a mistake a lot of people could make. So you go to cancel, right bottom corner. You want this to come out in, you know, like saying pumpkin spice. So you go down here in the bottom of the layers column, right here where there's a little paper clip, and you hit attach. Now when we go to make it right top corner, you'll see it says pumpkin spice and it'll all be one cut out and that's what you need now we don't want to mirror this so we're going to leave our mirror off we're going to go to continue right bottom corner my computer's connecting to my Cricut now I have my Cricut set to vinyl and the next time you see me we will be cutting out and applying this adorable fall sink Okay, here is my other little container that our neighbor got us that one time. This is the largest one, all right? And I went ahead and put the Waverly Antiquing Wax on this, and I'm just going to plop it down here like that. 
All right, and I'm using the other lid that my husband made for me for the smaller one because they all fit, okay? So, I have my removable premium vinyl from Cricut in black. You could do this um, if you wanted to get the really pretty orange. I think that would be pretty. And I have my standard grip mat. And I'm just going to put this right down here. Then I'm going to insert this with the blinking arrow and cut with the blinking C. Now, while that's cutting out, anytime you apply vinyl to a surface besides wood, uh, you need to clean it. So I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and just clean wherever I think I want that. And it dries really quickly. And sometimes I just take the other side of my cotton ball, which is still a little damp though. And it'll be dry by the time we need to do this. Now you'll also need some transfer tape. Okay, it's finished. Now we're going to eject with the blinking arrow. I'm just going to get my weeder. And I really do like that one from the Dollar Tree. I think it works very nicely, okay? And I'm just going to get in here and pull away everything that I do not want to weed this. Okay, we're gonna take out this these three peas. I think that is adorable. I'll show it to you up close in a second. If you wanted, like I said, you could do that in um, the orange. I think it would be so cute. Let me see if my transfer tape is big enough and it is just barely. So I'm going to put this down and then take this off of here. And I think sometimes if you turn it upside down, you get a better adherence. Okay. And this is what we have. Now I'm just going to put this right here. Okay, now we're going to apply this. And I'm just going to see. Right there. And then we're just going to apply it with our scraper. All right, this is what we're getting. It's so adorable. I'm going to put tea in it. You could put anything you wanted to in it. But just look at that, how adorable. Let's take a closer look. Okay, here's the one I made last time. Now this is a sneak peek of my little tray that I bought, cup holder from Amazon. This is how I'll be decorating on Monday so you get a sneak peek. Now if you hear something, the dishwasher is on, okay? So like I said, there's that one. Now I'm gonna switch it off to the other one. And then here is this one. Just look how adorable that is. Like I said, you could put um, the pumpkin spice in a real pretty orange if you wanted. You could spray paint your container orange and then put pumpkin spice in white. There's so much you can do with this and it looks so much like a Ray Dunn dupe for your fall kitchen decor. I love this little canister. It's so easy to make. Looks so farmhouse and adorable. And even if you wanted, you could also cut you out a little leaf. You could do a print and cut and then put a little leaf out from Spice. I just love it. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday for a decorate with me here in the kitchen for fall. And we're going to be doing my two tier tray as well. So excited to show you how I'm going to style that. So until next time, bye guys.